shall we pray? Father, again, we thank you for today. This is the day you have made. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad as you have spoken to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Once has God spoken, twice have I heard this, that power belongs unto you. No word from you is void of power. So when the word goes forth out of your mouth, everything you are is released to enforce the fulfillment of your word. As we examine very briefly the heavenly word focus that you gave to us for 2020, it's my prayer, Father, that you will release afresh upon your people all that you have ordained for each of us to have to make the most of this year. Thank you for pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to look at very briefly our 2020 heavenly word focus. The Lord spoke to me very clearly that 2020 is our year of unheard of restorations. I want to look at this heavenly word focus very, very, very briefly. Our anchor scripture is from the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, and from verse 16 to verse 21. And I read, But this is the thing which was said by the prophet Joel. This is the thing which was said. The word became a thing. Hear me, hear me well. I don't care where you are. This year, every word spoken to you in the past will become a thing, a substance, a reality. This year will be the year of fulfillment of scriptures in your life. He said, but this that you are seeing right now, this that you are hearing right now, is the thing which was said by the prophet Joel. Hallelujah. I can stop it here. This is the thing which was said. Many of us have heard so many things that have been said about us, but we have seen nothing. But on this special unique day, this very special day, Peter stood before the people who saw what was happening and were wondering, what is it? What is it all about? He said to them, this is the thing. Not this was. This year will be the year of God bringing into manifestation and fulfillment what he has said about you. We cannot talk about on the head of restorations without people hearing of the acts of God in your life and for your life. Hear me, hear me well. You may have thought it is all over. You may have concluded because of what you've been through that there is no headway anymore. But hear me as the Lord lives. Everything that may have been spoken towards your life or in your direction by any minister of the gospel or what you have seen from the world and you are thinking, can this ever be a reality? This year, as the Lord lives, because unheard of restorations has been declared as the heavenly word focus for us, you are going to see uncommon things happen in your life and by your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, but this is the thing which was said by the prophet Joel. And it will come about in the last day, says God, that I will send out my spirit. I will pour forth my spirit. Not pour out of, but pour forth. I'm going to release my spirit. God says, I'm going to invest my spirit. 
I'm going to send my spirit into all flesh. It shall come about in the last days that I will send out my spirit on all flesh. If you are a human being, you are qualified for this to be made up in your life. God says, I'm going to release my spirit on all flesh. I'm going to swallow up mortality. I'm going to swallow up sickness and disease. I'm going to swallow up weakness, mental dullness. I'm going to send forth my spirit upon all flesh. When God put his spirit into Adam, Adam became a God on the earth. When God put his spirit into Christ, Christ became the exact representation in tangible physical reality all that God is we are told that if God was pleased to have all of his fullness dwell in Christ bodily for the fullness of the God that dwells in Christ bodily and so when Christ came here embodying the spirit of God he said to those who heard him if you have seen me you have seen God he said to them, he that sees me, sees God. Hear me, hear me well. This year, people will see you, and they will see God. This year, men will encounter you, and they will encounter God. Nobody will doubt the reality of God today because of your life. I'm going to pour out my spirit, my substance, my reality, into every human being. God's agenda has been, let us make man in our image and after our likeness. Let our made man be fruitful. That's be productive, be prosperous. Let him multiply. Let our made man multiply. Let them fill the earth with their products. Let them subdue every opposition. And let them have dominion over everything I've made. And he took the spirit of God invested it to Adam to make that happen. And God says, it shall come to pass in the last days that I will pour out my spirit upon our flesh. And the results will be obvious. And Peter speaking on the day that this happened told them, this is what was said. Hear me again this year. What has been said about you will find the fulfillment in every aspect of your life and walk with the Lord. In the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, your, young, your sons and daughters will be prophets. They will be my mouthpiece anywhere they are. Men will speak. And when they are done speaking, it is God has spoken. That means just as every word that comes out of the mouth of God must come to pass. Every word that this man will speak, this man will speak, will come to pass. Guess it because you have thought that nothing good can ever come out of you. But hear me, hear me well. This year, your word will be God's word. Everything you say, as you allow his spirit right of way your life, all you say will be, all God will be saying, hallelujah. Take note, what is coming out of my mouth is God's word to you. And I want you to know that no matter where you have been, you can never be seen there anymore. This year, what you have never thought can be made happen in your life in 50 years. Some in 70 years, this year, it will be a reality. The things you will be bringing about that you can never imagine will come through in 50 years, some for 70 years. God will bring about this year. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. You will say, I say so. I am telling you, a thousand years can be like a day to God. This year, what many have tried and struggled to see come to pass, and they have labored for 20, 30, 50, 60, 70 years, and they have never been able to come to the point of seeing those happen. This year, by the hand of God, you will see that happen. God repackaged the whole earth in six days. <laughs> we have many weeks this year, about 52 weeks this very year. Every week will speak volumes. Work that will take years to be done will be done in, in a week. Guess it? 50 years work 
will be happening this year. Some 52, some more than that. That is my new realm. I want you to know you must guess it. Because what eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, they will hear by the hands of those that will be willing to allow God pour into them all God is. That is what I wanted to see. When God says, I want to pour my spirit on all flesh, God is saying, I want to invest all I am into people. When God invests all he is into people, then men will emerge gods on the earth. This year, there will be the reemergence of gods after God's class, after Adam's class, after Christ's class, in the precious name of Jesus Christ. God says, your sons and your daughters will be prophets. He says, your young men will see visions and your old men will have dreams. And on my men servants and my women servants, I will send forth my spirit and there will be prophets. They will speak for God. God can never do anything on the earth unless he shows his secrets to his ambassadors, to his prophets. And then as they say what God wants to say, wants to say as they say what God once said, then what God wants done will be made real. This year, we shall be seeing that order of accomplishments in the precious name of Jesus Christ. So guess it, for something is about to happen in your life that will bust the same and bring you into your place of renown. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.